for the ninth week in a row, thousands of Australians took to the streets calling for a ceasefire in Palestine. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, the official death toll in Gaza exceeded 17,700 people on Saturday. In Melbourne, the Victoria Police estimated that approximately 5,000 people attended the rally in the Melbourne CBD on Sunday. The protesters called for the Australian government to call for an immediate ceasefire in Palestine. I'm, we come in here to give message for our government. We need you to be strong. We need you to be strong to stand up and call him for ceasefire. Ceasefire now. Ceasefire now to save the rest of Palestinians in Gaza, to save the rest of the kids. We here, we keep coming. We keep coming week and week and day and by day until Palestine get free. I came here to say ceasefire now. We are here to support them every single time, every single Sunday. I'm never even going to stop coming here. And please everyone to support for ceasefire now. Truce with Hamas in a two month long war unraveled on December the 1st. Since then, Israel extended its ground offensive into the southern part of the Gaza Strip. For the ninth week in a row, Melbourne residents took to the streets to support and stand in solidarity with Palestine. They call out there's the need to be immediate ceasefire and the political resolutions of the 75 year old conflict. Various groups, including Australians with ties to Southeast Asian countries, participated in this rally to demonstrate their unwavering support for Palestinian independence. Well, the, the reason that I came every week is that I need to show my solidarity to the Palestinian people because this is the least that I can do is to put my voice towards the city, echoing my voice saying free, free Palestine. And today's message of the rally is we all come together, um, different nation, different nationality, different ethnicity even, um, come together on the same message saying free, free Palestine and getting that genocidal state Israel out of Palestine. So we're here fighting for that because as we fight for the Palestine, we're also fighting for the uh, independence of Southeast Asian countries, former colonies, including the Philippines. We are children of 400 years worth of colonial resistance and we stand in solidarity against oppression, against occupation and against the genocide of our Palestinian brothers. And more than 6,000 people flooded in Sydney CBD. Authorities also reported the arrests and no incidents during this event. Muhammad Andre reporting for C Today, Melbourne.